Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another Meals of the Week video. Um, I can only apologise that it has been a little while since I've done one. Um, so basically this is a longer Meals of the Week because this is everything that I managed to record over about a month period. Um, so from the end of January up until the last few days. Um, I've always filmed a week behind or uploaded a week behind I should say. So anyway, uh, let's get on to some of the meals that we've had. Um, obviously, some of this period I was ill and we weren't having, I wasn't filming every day and we weren't having home-cooked meals every day. So anyway, this is a sausage casserole, as you can see. Um, just one of our favourite dinners. Um, we, we do love a sausage casserole. You'll see quite a lot of sausage pastas, I'm afraid. And this was my daughter's birthday meal that she chose. That was her, so chicken dippers great carrots some sweet corn in there and um, she does like her stuff quite plain she didn't want any sauce or anything um and i had i think it was chicken nuggets in mine this was the cake that she chose um it was really cute this cake i think it was from asda she wanted to go there specifically to look at cakes because obviously their cakes are beautiful um and this explains what it was and it was actually honey flavoured um, which is really 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 different it was a nice cake I did have a little bit even though I shouldn't really eat it because it's got egg in it um, but it was um, vanilla sponge and chocolate sponge alternated um, with this honey flavoured cream so yeah it was really interesting um, this is my new slow cooker uh, I say new, I've had it a little while but it's relatively new particularly at this point um, back in January this was new so this is me making a turkey chilli so I've just put in the turkey and all the spices and stuff and then just adding in some tomato puree and um, a tin of tomatoes as well and then, um, so sometimes I'll do a chilli on the hob and I'll do it, you know, over about an hour or so. Sometimes I do it in the slow cooker and I'll get it going in the morning and I just let it simmer all day, really, and then put it on keep warm just for their dinner. It really depends what sort of time I have, um, if I'm in a rush or not, if I've forgotten about dinner, you know. Um, any of those things and I did add in some kidney beans as well and then that sat there for them to have later on in the day <coughs> they really did enjoy that chilli and I'll just serve that up with rice so nice and simple that is one of the ones that I like and then I like to try and have enough to freeze as well it really depends sometimes I buy a smaller pack of mint sometimes I buy a bigger pack um this is probably what I had instead so this is in no order this is just how it's come up and I don't remember what was on what day I'm really sorry but obviously it's a month's worth of food this is a corned beef hash um with just some carrots and broccoli as you can see and some nice gravy um, I think I probably had a different dinner with potatoes because I like to use the leftover potatoes to make the corned beef hash. Um, I very rarely actually make it from scratch to make a corned beef hash, if you see what I mean. Um, because this is probably where the potatoes came from, to be honest. <laughs> so I'll probably put them around the wrong way. But this was a pigs in blanket tray bake. Absolutely delicious if you haven't tried it thoroughly recommend it so you just roast your potatoes and then you add in your pigs and blankets your vegetables you make some stuffing and you throw in bits of stuffing and it all just cooks up throw in some sprouts any vegetables you want this is amazing we all absolutely loved it um just a really really nice dinner that i will try and do throughout the year um this is a chicken fajita um so I'd cut up some spring onion on the side and I like to have a wrap most people sort of have two wraps I like to have one wrap and then have some of the mixture on the side I try not to eat too much bread um I find it just bloats me up too much so sometimes I won't even have a wrap I'll just have a pile of it on the side because I like it with the salad um 
the spring onions were a really nice addition to that and then a few tortilla chips as well with the rice so and i don't put too much in the wraps either so although it looks like quite a lot it's not a huge amount it was a a nice filling i've had my dinner amount you know so that was really nice that's what we had that day um i made this a couple of times so this is a spatchcock pusin and um in this pan is carrots onions and courgette and i like to peel them up and fry them slowly so i made some couscous then i added that mixture into the couscous with some pomegranate seeds spring onion um i mean obviously you can add all sorts of vegetables into this I just added the things that I can have because this was predominantly like a dinner for me and uh, this is what I wanted so I put in the veg that I can have and then I had that with half of the pusin and this was amazing this pusin um, had I think it was four different peppers on it oh it was so so nice um, this made a delicious meal um not everybody likes the couscous um but my eldest loved it as well so it was a really really nice dinner so much so that i cooked it later on <laughs> in the month as well so yeah thoroughly recommend that one it was so nice and then these are little cheer batter buns they are quite small as you can see you can only fit half a waffle in them so they are small oh no they cheer batter i think they were actually bake at home ones so i did didn't have any hash browns so i did some potato waffles they're the caramelized onion burgers the taste of different ones from sainsbury's which are fantastic and then she had pepper and cucumber on the side i had some crispy fried onions inside my little potato waffle in the in the bun because uh, it was a really good way to stop it all falling out <laughs> and then i put some onion chutney in there as well that was really really delicious along obviously with the salad there as well the lamb's lettuce i do love lamb's lettuce and then this was a different dinner for a different day i was just frying up some onions um and i put in some i think it was tender stem broccoli isn't it usually i do this dinner with um parma ham but i didn't have any and then um oh my phone's ringing sorry about that do you know what people only ever call me when i'm trying to do voiceovers <laughs> right in this pan was what my daughter had instead and it was um giant baked beans or something it was called i'm sure it's a jamie oliver recipe it's just some leftover chicken that might have been a rotisserie chicken honestly i can't even remember at this point um she loved those beans they are butter beans obviously there's some peas in there tomatoes i can't remember what i put in it to be honest um i think this is when i was starting to get ill i've got like no memory of this um but she absolutely loved it so i would definitely make that again that's like you know your healthy baked beans and stuff and then this is back to my recipe um i threw in some orzo and so i did it instead of the pasta i'd usually do i tried it with orzo instead and it was all right but it's better with other pasta and then that definitely does look like a rotisserie chicken that must have been after i went to costco um it was a nice dinner but it's better with regular pasta so it's like a lemony chicken stock flavored uh dish which is usually delicious and i just cooked that in a pan on the hob so yeah oh just nice enough you know this one was a new recipe to me um i've been fancying it for a while and you were supposed to use white onions in this recipe um but i had a ton of red onions that needed using and i think it came out perfectly with the red onions and i wouldn't change anything so i chopped up a load of onions i put them in a the pan and i caramelized them and i made a french onion soup which was absolutely delicious um, so obviously stock went in i think you're supposed to use beef stock i can't remember if i did I might use a mixture of chicken and beef stock because i find beef stock very rich and i struggle to eat it and um, that was that dished up my daughter also enjoyed that as well we had a fresh french stick glass mouthful a fr fresh french french stick from um our shop in 
and loads of dairy-free butter on there and just dip that straight in it was lovely it was really 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 nice i definitely recommend that for a meal as well this is what i made my youngest because she hates onions so she wouldn't touch that i know it looks pathetic there is no cheese on these pizzas because she doesn't like cheese um so that was salami so obviously tomato sauce salami and leftover chicken like cooked chicken that went on there and i told you there was more sausage and pasta. <laughs> this is like my go-to if i don't know what to cook and i just want something really hearty i will have some version of like a sausage casserole and this is a this is the third one i'm afraid um <laughs> so this is the actual mix with the pasta with the broccoli the chicken stock the lemon that i was talking about a minute ago that I made with yours i made it again with the proper pasta um again we didn't have any palm ham that i'd usually put in it so i just air fried sausage pieces they cooked so quickly and i threw them on top <laughs> it was actually really good it was so nice with that i prefer it with the palm ham it gives it a nice salty texture but if you don't have it sausages were like a nice little touch to be honest um my daughter loved it absolutely loved it that is probably our favorite pasta to be honest that the flavorings that pasta is so simple so healthy and so delicious so full of flavor this was another new recipe to me um so i made some keema rice um i decided to use beef mints i think i might try lamb mints next time but i wasn't sure i wanted the lamb mints so i couldn't follow the recipe exactly because there are some spices i can't have so i had to leave out the ones i couldn't have and kind of adjust it a little bit um this was delicious and i'll definitely make it again it was pretty easy to do I did cook that rice separately, then threw it in at the end. Obviously, there's spinach in there, which was really nice. I don't often put spinach in my food to wilt because I don't always like it wilted. Um, I quite like it fresh. Um, but I decided to put it in anyway, and I did really, really like it. It was a really nice dinner. And then we had it with those delicious clay oven naan breads that are fantastic. So that was really, really nice. No one else wanted to eat it. <laughs> so it was just me and leftovers um i was really ill at this point i struggled to eat that um yeah some mango chutney with that i was just coughing so much i just really struggling to eat and then this is a beef shin casserole i threw in some potatoes carrots onions in there with all the stock and i don't often put potatoes in my casseroles because i don't usually like it but it was lovely and there's me doing the spatchcock chicken again and couscous because it was just a really 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 good dinner so anyway guys thank you for watching sorry it's a really long one and sorry again that it has taken me ages to get this out i just couldn't do a voiceover um so thank you for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you next week for another Meals of the Week. Bye.